Are you a liberal or a conservative? They are not strictly tied to Republican and Democrat, but rather more loosely. Here is a very simple test. Which type of the word privilege pisses you off? White privilege, male privilege. If that pisses you off, you're most likely a conservative. Thin privilege, female privilege. If that pisses you off, you're most likely a liberal. Here's the funny thing about the word privilege. It pisses everyone off. No one wants to admit that they have a privilege. White privilege, yes, we do have a privilege. Admitting that doesn't mean that we are racist. It means that we don't have to think about race the way people of color do. That's all it means. It means that we are subconsciously, sometimes even consciously, treated better. Yeah, we do have that. We should admit it. Male privilege, same thing. It means they don't have to think about how not to get raped when they're walking alone. It means they are not inundated with messages that they shouldn't be walking alone, that everything is their fault. We are in a blame the victim society of a rape culture. Neither of these are okay. Absolutely men do have a privilege. Many of them acknowledge this, many don't. Thin privilege. I've noticed I've pissed a lot of people off by thin privilege. Excuses, excuses, anyone can be thin, blah, blah, blah. Actually, no, not anyone can be thin. It really has a lot to do with genetics, really and truly. But again, I'm just asking, treat us like human beings. Because liberals are often called progressives because we want human rights for everyone, for women, for people of color, for everyone, except fat people, apparently. That's not how it works. We're all human beings, even us fat people. Female privilege. Yeah, you don't hear this one a lot, but it does exist. There are some instances in which being the female is more of a privilege. In a divorce case, women are often granted more of a right to children. They don't have to fight as hard to see their kids, even if they're not the better parent. Not being accused of violent crimes. A man and a woman, if they are both suspects in a violent crime, she's very rarely the immediate suspect. And even if she is the main person, she's still considered usually an accomplice. And she doesn't get as harsh a sentence as he does, even if she's the instigator. So, yeah, there are cases in which women do have privilege. So, are you a liberal? Or are you a conservative? Able body privilege, well, that doesn't really piss anyone off. I think everyone recognizes that I don't have as many privileges as you guys do because I'm in a wheelchair. The pros and cons of that is I wasn't denied disability, like a lot of people I know, because I look sick. But the flip side of that is people treat me like I'm on my deathbed. And I don't have energy to do pretty much a lot of anything. I went to the gym today, so I'm pretty much spent for the rest of the day. That's how it goes. So no one's going to combat me on the able-bodied privilege. But all these privileges, people seem to think if you're treated badly, it's your fault. If you're fat, it's your fault. If you're poor, it's your fault. Since I'm in a wheelchair, I must have done something in the past life. Or I just don't think positive enough. We want to have some sort of control over our own lives. And yet, at the same time, 
we don't want to admit that we have privileges. So, whatever you are, I'm gonna piss you off. And if you piss me off enough, I'm gonna mute you from my channel, because I can do that. And if I'm really pissing you off, why are you listening to me? Like, that, that's, that's what I don't get. But are you a liberal or a conservative? We'll find out.